so I just wanted to make this quick video for you guys. Um, if you guys have one of these, uh, like a standing uh, punching bag, a stand for the punching bag. Um, so a little trick I found. Uh, so this is just like a tricks and alternative uh, for me. Um, disregard the string in the bottom. I was using it to tie up to the bottom, but it actually ripped. So the bag doesn't go swinging back and forth, but that's okay. Um, so basically, there's, you know, most of us, you know, they say you should buy these plates, right? But most of us already have dumbbells at home from other workouts that we do. Um, I'm assuming most of us is going to have this if we're... Uh, doing uh, using a punching bag so uh, basically I just put my weights here um, if you have another weight you can add it uh, I put it here yeah another one you have it you can put it I adjust this 20 right here it's it's perfect um, and then I have another 20 here with the other one cat toy you don't need that one and then I have a kettlebell you might not have a kettlebell that I put at the end um, but you can also put a different weight there a kettlebell is a little bit easier just because the kettlebell you can it's like small and, and heavy right so if you put the you put one of the dumbbells standing up it might be moving around but the kettlebell isn't going to move around another tip is if you put it in a corner just like this it really isn't going to move anywhere um so if you have I, i'm sure if you've used this already or you're thinking about it uh if you have it somewhere like let's say i had it like here it's going to move uh left and right right so if, if i give it like a nice like a you know like i hit it and it comes it's gonna move so basically keep it in the corner and that should help and yeah thanks